Mozart could compose music while playing billiards. Well, he's just that dude, yeah. One of Medusa's snakes is about to shed its skin. Who's the most evil candle in the world? Huh? Um, Evil Lumiere from Beauty and the Beast. I don't know. Everyone, today we are going through the K-Zone special issues. This came out first, the K-Zone fun book, and it's full of, you know, fun stuff like puzzles, comics, did you know facts, everything that screams K-Zone. And then I think it was really popular. So they made a follow-up to it. K-Zone's Guide to Surviving a Bummer Summer. And it features Caleb, the K-Zone's mascot. But yeah, we're gonna go through the fun book for now. And you know what? This issue featured the K-Zone pencil. Like, it was free. Puzzles, jokes, trivia, comics. It's gonna be a blast. And it was 99 pesos. Load up on 360. Did you know facts? So the first one already we get. Did you know that the oldest vomit ever discovered came from a dinosaur? Who else would be vomiting in that era? If I was the dinosaur, holy shit, who's vomiting? Let me be the first. At the back, Toys R Us. Be the Philippines representative to the Toys R Us Asian Rubik's Championship in Hong Kong. They still had so many cool contests going on. You get to go to Hong Kong for being a nerd. And you know what? Good for you. What is this? And then you had this guy holding an edited is completely <laughs> it went through his skin a completely edited Rubik's Cube July 13 2008 Trinoma mm-hmm near Mr. Donut is it still there Robinson's Metro East oh I know that Grand Finals is in Galleria to join, simply purchase any Rubik's Cube, a Toys R Us, see? It doesn't, e <laughs> doesn't even, like, tell you, to, oh, you have to solve the Rubik's Cube within, like, five minutes. No, just, just buy a Rubik's Cube. <laughs> That's about it. So, yeah, we are going in. Ooh, right off the bat, gives you a puzzle. What's the word? Hey, you word genius. Scramble the letters up to form the correct word. Eh, hey. Pozo Negro. Oh, my God! Snoop? I think it's Snoop. Cause like, what the hell is this? Uh, letter. What? This is not Snoop. What? What else could it be? It's a spoon. And then sleep. Why is it saying the correct word? There are two words you can create with those letters. It's Snoop and spoon. Anyway, hey everyone, are you ready to get the scoop on over 300? Did you know facts? Are you ready to wrap up your noggins and solve over? Stop. 30 tricky puzzles. Are you ready to LOL over 40 fantabulous jokes? Welcome to the K-Zone Fun Book. It's loaded with the greatest bits from your fave magazine in the world. Answers in the back of the mag. Remember, no peeking. Aw, they still included the answers. That's good to know. So we got the staff over here. Mm-hmm. Oh, the editor is Leo. It's not Maggie. And art director is Mark. Oh, those boys. Those boys got some shit going on. Some good shit. Whatever layout that you see here. It's your boy Mark. And then Leo, you know, did the editing. These boys. Okay, puzzle fun. And it's Willy Wonka. Oh, <laughs> says be the first to visit billy bonkers mysterious chocolate factory by finding the right golden ticket below we got can you see me <laughs> it's an advertising feature i don't know this what is this is it like a toy i guess it's a toy oh with you and me dolls and accessories you have all that you'll need to be an expert baby doll sitter next up we have samurai's quest uh, yeah, we have a maze. We got a spot the difference for Barbie. We have a director's cut, which is not really a puzzle, but like in certain K-Zone issues, you can create your own wacky story slash adventure wherein, for example, here's an idea for a wacky marathon. First, you'd run while being chased by, and then you can select any like images here. I'm gonna choose a rock. Cre chased by a rock and jumping to a uh, trash can for safety that's basically it it's not really a puzzle oh here we go we got some did you know facts 
everyone! Get your daily dose of did you know bits from across the centuries. King John III of Poland was crowned, married, and died on the same date, June 17. Well, that's just bad luck. Mozart could compose music while playing billiards. Well, he's just that dude, yeah. I would not be surprised. The Mega Neuron, a prehistoric dragonfly, was the largest insect ever. It measured 29 inches from wing tip to wing tip. That is scary. Okay, first of all, I am scared of cockroaches if they're flying. Like, I can kill cockroaches if they're, like, crawling, right? But if they fly, nah. Nah, I'm gonna scream with you. So imagine this big-ass 29-inch insect coming at you wingtip to wingtip. Like, it's probably staring up a whole-ass tornado just with one fly of this dragonfly. Like, one flap of the wing of Dorothy's house is gone just there's a tornado you know don't sign me up goodbye I'm glad I was not alive that time I'm sorry for the the dinosaurs they'll be like what the fuck is this probably why they died they'd be like oh get me get me out of here and then the poor dragonfly was like hey bros I'm just chilling out with you I'm just like any other dinosaur even though I'm an insect and then the dinosaurs were like no we don't claim you you're not a dinosaur you are a bug and then the dragonfly the big dragonfly was like well that's enough for me the dragonfly probably terrorized every dinosaur that there is which is why we probably have insects terrorizing all the animals like this this dragonfly was maybe like ancestors hear me out we will revolt we will take over this world. They don't want us. They don't claim us. Have at it. Termites, do your thing. And then the termites saluted. Dragonflies, do your thing. You are the best. Fleas, yes. Go to the dogs, fleas. Do your thing. Become pieces of shit. And then the fleas were like, oh, thank God, something to do. That's what happened. That's history right there. The ancient Greek philosopher Pythagoras set up a club where members weren't allowed to eat beans. What was his beef with the beans? I thought beans were supposed to make you smart. Aside from the fart and shit. Like, I thought beans were like smart food along with chocolate but i don't know i guess pythagoras had some beef with some beans in the 1988 rio de janeiro elections a brazilian chimpanzee came in a third place out of 12 well i don't know what else to tell you about that rio what is going on your short and stubbly human neck has the same number of bones as a giraffe now you know you could have been a giraffe there's no word that rhymes with oblige i do not agree you know what rhymes with oblige that's right mary j blige you don't know mary j blige oh you gotta know mary j blige the famous phrase knock knock who's there was coined by william shakespeare uh, didn't know he had it in him george washington carried a portable sundial instead of a watch he was that bitch he was i'm not like other guys bitch well can you tell me the time and then george washington was like okay please hold no you know what let's go outside please hold and then he goes outside trivia planet the moon is moving away from the earth at a rate of four centimeters a year well don't go away moon luna don't go away on august 1 2008 the earth will experience a total solar eclipse did we the South Pole has no sun for 182 days a year. They don't got vitamin D. Oh, now we have, we're back to the puzzles. We have snake dandruff. One of Medusa's snakes is about to shed its skin. Can you find it before Medusa gets snake dandruff? What do you mean? Oh, you have to find this particular snake. Animal Kingdom grab bag. Four animals can be found in all four frames. Secret identity. A new superhero has appeared over the skies of Mega Shredad leaving only his strange symbol behind. Found out his superhero name by skipping every letter in the sequence below. It's Kapitan Kidlat, right? Yeah, that's cool. That's a pretty cool puzzle. We got some word search. And then we got some plug and play, which is the appliances. You get to check which plug is which, or which um, appliance is which plug. 
that's so cool i like the designs the illustration is really cool gross out keep those barf bags ready these far out facts will make you go blah two thousand years ago a greek doctor thought he'd found the perfect earache cure get a cockroach's stomach mix it with oil and stuff it inside your ear okay i think this greek doctor should be in jail unless it's what was proven true the the doctor was probably like just laughing his ass off when somebody tried it like you believe me why would you do that in 2002 a man with sweaty feet who took off his shoes in netherlands university was fined 250 around 16,000 by officials just because he took off his freaking shoes and had sweaty ass feet no bye more than 100 million organisms make their home inside your mouth see you're not alone as michael jackson would say you are not alone i am here with you i forgot the next lyrics the oldest bomb oh this is the the dragon itchy oh itch sorry isn't that like the penguin looking dinosaur how were they able to realize it's vomit? Then we have... Can you pick up the stuffed toy? Another one of those where you need to find the specific stuffed toy. And then we have monstrous face-off. Spot the 10 differences uh, between these two mon monstrous wrestling matches. We got Sublime Slime. Which is... What is this? Oh, you need to find Winged Eyeball somewhere around this chaos. Oh, so there it is, winged eyeball. I've lost my mutant marbles. In the game of mutant marbles, you have to hit the green eyeball in the center with one of the white eyeballs outside the circle. Okay. The thing is, they can only roll in the direction the iris is looking at. Can you tell which eyeball can hit the green without hitting any other eyeballs? Is it this one? Because it's a direct boom right there. This one's gonna hit the red. These ones are out of the picture already, so I think it's this one. The first ever cell phone call was made in 1973 when the inventor, Dr. Martin Cooper of Motorola, called his rival to tell him that he had beaten him to wit. That is such petty behavior. The parachute was designed long before the invention of the airplane, huh? Some inventor was like, oh, I just had the final destination vision. We are gonna create a parachute. And then everyone around him was like, you're crazy. And then suddenly, the airplane came to be. And the inventor was like, yeah, that's right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. The first words ever spoken through a telephone were, Watson, please come here. I want you. That's because inventor Alexander Graham Bell accidentally spilled battery acid in his pants while trying the machine. There you go, telephone enthusiasts. Oh, shit. Okay. So every Holmes ever. Join the greatest detective team in history as they race to save the universe. So this is what I was talking about in the previous issue. I don't remember if it's uh, which issue it is. It's probably April 2009. But they had several K-Zone issues wherein the Holmes characters are like related to the mystery trying to be solved. So we got original Sherlock Holmes, Warlock Holmes. It's probably some Halloween themed thing going on because like a werewolf. Sherlock Holmes, something about the seven seas. Seven seas. Cell block Holmes, I don't know. Love Lock Holmes, probably a February issue. Padlock Holmes, which is I guess ugh, he's a rock star. Look at him. Wedlock Holmes, I don't know. Grimlock Holmes, <laughs> dinosaur alert. Armlock Holmes. I think he's a wrestler or something. Oh, uh, we have Laugh a Lock Holmes, Warlock Holmes, Snowlock Holmes, Harlock Holmes, Hemlock, Morlock, Ziplock, Flintlock, and Capslock. I do not know these homes. They uh, they are not homies. Uh, now we have some comics. I don't really know this comic, but it's really cool. The Many Adventures of Stephanie Smee. Oh, look at that. It's so cool. The illustrations are really cool. Oh, and then the comics has a puzzle. That's so cool. Rib ticklers. Okay. I just wish I don't see the answers right away. Okay. What do you call a dog with earmuffs on? Um, somebody vibing. I don't know. Anything you like, he can't hear you. I swear to God. What's the best way to call a man-eating lion? Well, you don't call it. You don't want to be eaten. Long distance. Oh, Who's the most evil candle in the world? 
Huh? Um, Evil Lumiere from Beauty and the Beast. I don't know. The Wicked Wick of the Way. Okay, goodbye. Why did the skeleton play the piano? It's trying to learn. I don't know. Because he didn't have any organs. Okay. Where do penguins vote? I, I think I saw the answer. South Pole. Oh, it's the North Pole. South Pole? You're trying to kill them. How do zombies like their drinks? I don't know. Shaken, not stirred. <laughs> ice go. What? How do zombies like their drinks? Ice oh, ice cold. But that's a ghost. That's not a ghoul. Ice ghoul? Ice cold. I'm gonna beat you up. Who, who made this? Who made this joke? Why did the snowman call his dog Frost? Um, I don't know. Because Frost bites. Oh god. Why is the math book always so upset? It has so many problems. I don't know what to tell you. Because it has a lot of problems. Yeah. What do you get when you cross a dog and an elephant? I don't know. Some some of them just wants to vibe. Um, a very scared postman. Huh? Why is the postman afraid of the elephant? What do you call a sleeping bull? Not a threat. I don't know. A bulldozer. Huh? Why didn't Noah go fishing? Noah? Who's Noah? He only had two worms. Oh, right. The ark. Sorry, Noah. We have some more puzzles. Oh, I like the illustrations. Decipher both the symbols and the clock hand. See if you can decode the riddle of the clock. Hint, it's a story you're very familiar with. Horrorglyphics. Oh, you get some codes here. Some ciphers. How come the ghost didn't cross the road? I don't know, it's already dead. Superman's official birthday is on February 29th? Of course Superman is a leap year, baby. Scrambled. Ooh. Can you unscramble each breakfast word hidden inside the scrambled eggs? Wordplay. Can you decode the secret words hidden below? No. But this is probably Captain America. I don't know. <laughs> no, it's probably Captain Barbell. There's a, like a bell here. Sea urchins walk on the ends of their teeth. I am so scared now. Mayflies live only for a few hours after they're born. That's so sad. I'm so sad now. An owl can turn its head in a complete circle. You should be scared of owls. A frog has no neck, so it can't turn or bend its head. I feel bad for the frog. Fireflies aren't flies, and glowworms aren't worms. They're both actually beetles. Who was naming these bugs? Recent scientific studies show that cockroaches learn faster during the night. Oh, that's why they're fast as shit. They be having lectures in the night. Oh my god, stop the cockroaches from learning. And then it's over. And we got the puzzle answers. And then we have like the August K-Zone issues. And it's a special double cover. I had this issue. I don't know where it is though. Which I'm scared because I had this issue. But anyway, that's it for the the K-Zone fun book. If you made it this far, thanks for stopping by. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye!